What is up guys, this is Mr. Falafel. Now, I'm going to show you a little tutorial, another one, and this one is going to be a massive, massive help to all of these people who have Steam and um, have games that um, use Games for Windows Live. Now, as we all know, that Games for Windows Live is a piece of crap system, and it always has all these errors, and games like two of my games that I use uh, Windows Live is... Dark Souls and Bioshock 2. I might have a couple more, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But those are the two games that have been not working for me for the past, uh, well, actually a couple of weeks. So um, it's been really annoying me. So I figured out a way how to fix this problem, and um, I helped this through a guide on Steam. But um, I'm going to show you an easy tutorial through what I'm doing, uh, so you can see what to do. So. I'm just going to pause this update because otherwise I can't show you. So what you're going to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to go onto your control panel. Now what you want to do is you want to uninstall, um, if you have it or not, Games for Windows Live, um, Microsoft Games for Windows Live, right over here. You want to get rid of these two here. Click uninstall, finish it, uninstall it, done. And then the next step you want to do is you want to go all the way to the bottom and get rid of this Windows Essentials 2012. Uninstall that. Don't repair it. Just uninstall it straight away, just to make sure. Because repairing it didn't fix my problem. Just to make sure. Um, just uninstall it. After that, you want to go into. Well, actually, you want to still keep up Control Panel and go View Installed Updates. Then the next step you want to do is um, wait for this to load up here because all the pro all my updates are loading up. But first you want to ins you want to um, look up uh, Windows Internet, and then you should see Windows Internet Explorer 9 or 10 or whatever you have. Um, uninstall that Windows um, Windows uh, 10, and then um, after that you want to uh, restart your computer. It should um, get rid of the rest, uh, the um, Windows Essentials, and it should get rid of this. Now, if you have number ten, you're gonna when you open it up again, you're gonna um, uninstall nine because um, after you un uninstall ten, there should be nine coming up, so you get rid of nine. Then, after you've done all that, go into um, uh, your internet browser. As you can see, I'm using Windows 9 because I've just finished um, doing it now. So what you want to look up is you want to look up um, Games for Windows Live. Games for Windows Live. Uh, live. I'll put a link in the description instead of you doing this. But um, you want to do that and then you go um, Marketplace. And then you click download, and once you click download, it'll un it'll install um, all the essentials you need. After you've done that, you finish downloading that. You want to go to and get um, uh, Windows Essentials. So Windows, uh, wait, is it? Yes, Windows Essentials. And um, you want to type in 2012 because I think that's the latest one but I'm not too sure. Anyway, 2012 Microsoft. Just wait for it to load. Uh, this is a major problem. Sick of games for Windows Live. Is this the right one? I think that's it. Yep. Then you want to click, um, I think, Windows Essentials 2012. Download the Windows Essential 2012. You click that. You install um, that. Then after you've done that, you then want to download, um, uh, where is it, you want to download, um, uh, where is it, um, I think it's Windows, uh, Windows um, Internet 9, yep, then you want to click on here, download Internet Explorer 9, then you go to, um, Go to all the way down to English, if you speak English or whatever language you want to use. And then you click on um, whatever your operating system is. Mine's Windows 7 64-bit, but yours might be Vista or 32-bit Windows 7. Yeah. But anyway, you, after you've done that, you've installed all of it. 
every time you install an up, um, it tells you to install something. You've got to re it says restart your computer. Now you don't have to do it. You just say restart later. But then once you've done all of them, you um, restart your computer. So just restart it again. After you've done that, I think that's about it. It should work. Um, if you have Windows 10. You can just get get Windows 10 again. Right now, I'm still using 9 because I I've just like literally finished doing it like 10 minutes ago, because um and I just thought about making a tutorial on it because I've been working on this for weeks and weeks and I finally made it work. So I'm very happy about that. So everyone, thanks for watching. This works for most games for Windows Live. It can work for Dirt, um, Batman, um, all these games that use games for Windows Live. Because Games for Windows Live, as I've said before, is a piece of crap and it doesn't really do much. Um, well, no, it doesn't really um, work that well. Well, you've got to, you know, it's like a, you've got to push it every step of the way. You've got to know what you're doing. So I've just shown you what to do. This should work after a while. If it does still not work, and um, uh, then you want to do this. You want to go, um, you want to go into your all programs after you've done this all, and you want to click on Windows Live Messenger and then you have all your stuff here um, that's your win uh, that, and that should start up and then when you sign in it should work if it doesn't work then you should try and fix it through Google just look up the way to fix it um, same with uh, games for Windows Live you got you want to open that and you want to um, see if it works so you just click yes I want to use it and then if it doesn't work and everything then um, you've got an issue you've got to look up how to fix it because um I don't think I know how to fix it, but um I just I just uninstalled it and this all worked for me. And then after that, you want to open up this um your browser, and it should come up with the display of Windows 9. And if if you don't know what Windows 9 looks like, just look at this. You got the sort of weird this weird weirdy ah, weird-ish looking thing up here. It it's like a different display up there. You have tabs, um and everything. You have tabs. You can sign in. You have your favorites bar up here instead of up there with Windows um, uh, 6, I think. No, Windows 8. So yeah, Windows 8. Um, you just have something else. Well, I, I think it's Windows 8, but I'm not sure. But yeah. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this helped you because this definitely helped me out. Bioshock 2 and Dark Souls work for me now at the current moment. Uh, I've been working on it for weeks and weeks and weeks. And just to give you a word of warning, guys. Don't mess around with uh, your uh, Games for Windows Live folders, your Dark Souls folders. You know, don't do that unless you definitely know what you're doing because it is very hard to disrupt. Like, one small problem you've done, like, one small thing you've done, it may result into the entire thing stop working and then you have to reinstall it and work it all over again because I have done that before. I installed, like, Dark Souls Fix to try and get some mods for Dark Souls and and it didn't go so well it ended up me having to fix it and I couldn't play it for another two weeks so just a word of warning guys anyway thanks for watching I'll just wrap it up here and I hope this helped you definitely so thank you very much this is Mr. Falloutful and I'll see you next time